What's up, everybody? About to head out, give me something to eat. Something came to my mind, which I probably haven't shown many people this, if you've seen my videos and stuff like that, that I wear crazy, crazy helmet covers. I have a dog, I have a Pikachu, I have a Grover, and I also have a pig. So today, I'm gonna ride out my pig helmet. I'm gonna check it out now. So. Damn. Now I wonder, is it silly to have this? Or is it safety? Run that intro. Hey guys. Yeah, um, um you know, I just kind of wanted to, I don't know if I ever like said anything in my video. But, um, you know, I wear, a lot of times I wear these covers on my helmet, you know, because I'm goofy and that's who I am, you know, you know, I'm not like this super, super duper serious guy all the time and who wants to like go a hundred, you know, 200 miles per hour and stuff like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's times I do like to go fast, but, you know, times like this, not really, just want to chill. And, um... You know, even though it does look silly and it's probably retarded and stupid, I will tell you this, I feel much safer wearing these things because people pay attention. Yeah, it looks dumb and people probably make fun of me, but you know what, at least if they're making fun of me, they see me. You know, that's the most, like, that's like the most important thing is to be seen. You know, like they say, loud pipes save lives. Well, being seen also saves lives. And if I could, you know, make people see me, even though how silly and super retarded it looks, at least they see me. And that reduces my chances of getting in accidents when no one sees me. You know, like right now I got a pig, um, you know, a pig cover on. You know, maybe uh, the police won't pull me over or something like that because they got more of them you know but um you know it, it's kind of fun to have those oh boy student driver okay student driver all right here we go we are going around two three yes okay but um, so you know, guys, it's it's just that's part of my personality. You know, I'm a outgoing, fun guy. I like to do silly things, and I just you know, I'm not all serious and stuff. I like to you know make fun. But you know, th these covers, the only bad thing about these covers, to be honest with y'all, is that it does restrict my peripheral vision because it does come over my um. It does come over my lens, so I can't really see a lot of times. So I like to double check, like, you know, I mean, I'll, I do turn my head, but, you know, I really got to turn my head and use my mirrors a lot for these things. So, you know, that is a downside to having this on. Um, another downside to having this is that when it's hot outside, this thing's really cooking my helmet, you know, so, you know, it, it just really cooks in my, my head so bad. But when I'm moving, it's not that bad. When I'm like actually going and, you know, creating wind and feeling it, I'm fine with that. And sometimes I let the, the lid up so I get air come in. But since I'm making a video and I'm talking, I have to keep it down. But it's not that bad, you know. But when I sit still in traffic or a light or something like that, oh my gosh, I toast. I really toast in this helmet. Um, so that's why I really only use like one helmet to film. My other helmets, because I because this helmet I have on is a Scorpion, uh, but I always, I have other Scorpion helmets because you know that's my type of helmet. I love Scorpions. Um, so you know it's just something I like, and also it helps protect my helmet too. You know from like if it falls or whatnot. So you know this it, is, it just helps a lot. Um, so that's the reason why I wear these, um, for the attention, to have fun, and just to, you know, just have fun. There's nothing really big about it. Now, you know, there's so many different kinds, because I have like a Pikachu that I really love, but unfortunately, uh, one of the ears, 
is coming off. So I have to glue the ear back and I just bought glue for that. So, you know, whenever I get the glue, whenever I glue it back, I'll, sh I'll make a video with my Pikachu. But the crazy thing is, is that I get so many looks, uh, especially from kids, and I get a lot of pictures. You know, people want to take pictures of me with the helmet and stuff like that. Okay, all right, good, slow up. All right, cool. You know, that, that that's pretty cool. Man, you see that dirt that was right there? That's crazy. The grass. Huh. You know, someone told me this, which I don't know if it's true or not, but someone says, if you're riding a motorcycle and say someone cuts their grass, right? And they shoot the grass over into the, like, the road. Um, yo. Know, if I've heard if someone says, if someone's going in their yard and they shoot the grass onto the road and say you're riding your motorcycle and you hit it and you fall and you crash, that you can sue the house that the, that the grass was, you know, was there. You can actually sue the people and their homeowner's insurance will pay for the damages to you and your bike. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. That I don't know. I, I, someone just told me that. Because I guess that if you're mowing your yard and you push your grass out to the road, that you're technically um, should be held liable for anything that happens because you're the one who's causing the road to be unsafe because you're throwing your grass and stuff like that onto the road. Now, you know, you know, if you're in the neighborhood and you do it and it's a small neighborhood, that's one thing, you know what I'm saying? Because really you shouldn't be going fast in your neighborhood in the first place. But if you are like, you know, in a major road like this where there's a lot of cars and there's a lot of traffic that goes in and out and through and stuff like that and you're riding at a maybe higher speed, then I think you should be held responsible for throwing grass out here because I mean, you know, would it be no difference if that's what you call littering? You know, I mean, if I if I went right now and took a spray can and started spraying the roads, would I get in trouble? Yeah, I'd probably get in trouble because I'm making the roads unsafe because I'm messing up people's the lines that they put down here by law. But I mean, it's, it's whatever y'all think it is, because I really personally believe that you should be held responsible. But you know, hey, I don't make the laws, I don't enforce the laws, I'm just a, a guy riding a motorcycle with a pink pig helmet. That's who I am.